don't really know what's been going on. We thought it was maybe his iron levels, but Kurt's been having like these dizzy spells and some tummy aches. Nothing super serious, but he just wants to work out what's going on. So he went to the doctor and got all these tests done and everything came back normal. His blood work was normal. His urine test was normal. Everything was like he was super healthy. To be honest, he's a little bit of a hypochondriac. If something's a little bit wrong, he thinks he's gonna die. So he just went to the doctor again and they told him to get a heart scan. I don't know if he's here yet. Okay, he's here. Abby, I need to go put pants on. Life of a YouTuber, I was just filming a video, that's the big light, and I'm not wearing pants. I literally never wear pants when I film. Oh, and he's calling me. Hey, I'm just putting on pants. Okay, put the pants on. Okay. I'm in the driveway. All right, I'll bring Abby, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. Everything you could get checked, Kurt is getting checked and he's going in for a colonoscopy in like two months. But he just went to a heart doctor and he has to be on like an ECG, is that what it's called, for 24 hours? So he just called me and he was like, it looks like I'm strapped to a bomb vest and I'm really upset right now so it'd make me really happy if we went and got D-Balls, which is like our favorite smoothie well place. Abby, you're gonna come with us, let's go. Oh, being heavily pregnant like makes me really puffed just putting on pants. We're not putting on shoes because we don't have time. Gosh, ugh. I'm not as agile anymore. I want to see if it actually looks like a bomb vest. Knowing Kurt, he's just being dramatic. Go in, Abby. Hello, hello. Show us your bomb vest. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Abby, I've become a test. <laughs> I'm just sad. I've got Bye. to wear this stupid vest for 24 hours if that's what you were going to ask. That's I'm not allowed boring. To do anything. So you can't even come on like our nighttime walks with Abby or go. Well, I don't know. They weren't very helpful. They were quite gr grumpy and oh. like trying to rush me out the door. Actually, a beautiful day. Yeah, thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to go get smoothie bowls. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go for a surf and now I can't do any of that. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a pregnant woman, you idiot. No. Yes. Can you stop taking B roll of my sick hand? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're such a hypochondriac. Oh, let's get a bloody wiggle on here. <laughs> what are we doing? Come on! <laughs> I'm sick! <laughs> <laughs> I won't be too rude, they're old. They can't help it. They've got less time on this life than I do. <laughs> well, who knows? Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, off we go. Kurt, you happy boy now? Yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> but this is good. Are you like really close to my fat? No. Really nice? Yeah. Mm. You're really stretched to the max today. Yeah? Yeah, do you want to do a quick body update? Yeah, go on, update. And then I'll update things. you on my skin because I've got to go get macrodermabrasion. She looking big. She looking real big. Look at that belly, look at that awkward belly button. What the heck? She's quite large. I'm 33 weeks pregnant. We went to a midwife appointment yesterday and they felt like they feel his head and I'm still one fifth engaged, which apparently means nothing in terms of labor. I was like, does this mean I'm gonna go early? And they were like, no. I'm still in my mind thinking I'm gonna go two weeks over. Like, you know how people say they get to the point where they're like, you're so over it and you can't wait to get him out. I'm mostly just excited. Like, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's okay. Mm. Maybe I'll get to that point at like 38 weeks, but I'm just oh, so excited. I can't think about it. <laughs> you, were, you were born to be pregnant, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, even in the midwife appointments, when they're talking about like breastfeeding and hand expressing and swaddling your baby, I'm like holding back tears. I'm I'm so enthusiastic, and they're You're like, a "Why?" Swaddle sissy. Didn't they say that yesterday? They were like, "Why are you so enthusiastic?" I was like, "Yeah, isn't everyone?" Was, this is my dream. Most most people who come in are really scared and nervous, and says so, says he's like, "Nah, I'm, I'm stoked." <laughs> and like, I know it's going to be really painful, and I'm probably going to be like. This is so much worse than I thought, but I'm, bring it. I'm so excited. Yeah. But anyway, right now, guys, I'm gonna go get a microdermabrasion because I'm really, do you want, do you, you don't wanna be, you don't, I'll talk to them alone. <laughs> you don't care about this. He doesn't care about skincare. No. Oh. <laughs> Grumpy bum. You're annoying me. <laughs> I literally have to leave in like five minutes. I'm not trying to finish running it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get a microdermabrasion now and I'm really picky with what facial treatments I get because I honestly think the more you do is not better. I think it's like the least you do, the better. So maybe, what are you? <laughs> 
What? You don't let chew on that, Abby. I'm just checking it out. We're going to another room. Don't you want to look at my electronics? <laughs> no. Don't mind my washing. I remember when I was trying to treat my hormonal acne, everyone was talking about peels and clay masks and microdermabrasions and all this crazy stuff they did. I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot afford all of that. I don't know what one to do. And my favorite is definitely a microdermabrasion, which is pretty much an exfoliation. So they use like a diamond head and this suction. I'm going to bring you guys along with me so you'll see it happen. But basically it just gets all the dead skin cells off your skin so it can't get stuck in your pores and lead to congestion and acne breakouts. And honestly, I find that the most effective, you don't have to get it. It's just one thing I really like to do, maybe like once every two months. So I'm gonna go to Glow Spa and get that done. I've been going there since I was like 16 and I'm 26 now. And before I go, I just wanna talk about my makeup because you guys know I normally use like a BB cream. And then the other day I mixed up this new little concoction that I wanna show you. I've had this forever and I didn't like it before I was pregnant. It just didn't agree with my skin. But now being pregnant, everything's changed and I had to change all of my products. So I've been using this as my moisturizer. It's the Mugu Blemish Cleansing Moisturizer. And for my makeup, I do like a little squirt of that mixed in with this natural foundation. To be honest, this one is a little bit too dark for me. I did mix it with my baby cream, the one from Flora, but this is a caramel color. I think I need chai and it's made from oat milk. So it's from Ere Perez. Oh, you guys know I'm the worst at reading like French things. Oh. <laughs> So that's the name there. But yeah, I really like this one because it's a natural foundation and I think the more natural products you can put on your skin, the better. So anyway, I'm just using a combo of those two today and I feel like it has like a nice glowy effect on the skin and it's not like heavy, gluggy chemical stuff. So anyway, I've had a lot of questions about makeup lately. So I'm using those two right now, but in a week it'll probably change. So we got to go. You think you can stop me and spin my heart to die. That's my cutie girl. Oh. This is why our neighbors hate us. Yeah, I'm so glad my skin's finally settled down from like my first trimester in pregnancy. That was the worst. It was literally like my body went back to my 16 year old self. Actually, everyone's always commenting saying, how do you think your body will snap back? How do you think you'll be? I think I'll be fine, but I really hope my hair stays like this. Like, look at that guys. That's not my normal bun. That is so voluptuous for me. My hair's like tripled in thickness since becoming pregnant and I'm not complaining. All right, I've just pulled up at Glow Spa and parked. An update, I did have time to get my makeup off, which was great. But as you can tell, I'm not filming on my normal camera. So today I'm filming on my big Canon and it's so, so heavy. So I don't really want to bring that in and like, number one, ruin my own facial experience because it is pretty relaxing and this is kind of not. And um, I don't want to intimidate the girls who do it because they're not used to being on camera all the time. So if I bring in this huge rig of equipment, I feel like it makes them a bit nervous. So I'm just going to bring in my phone, but I still want to like vlog it for you guys. So sorry, it's not great quality, but you know, it's about the content, not the quality. Okay. So she did a cleanser and a light exfoliant, just getting all of the crap off my skin and the makeup. Now I just have to lay here with this steam on my face for like five minutes. Okay, fabulous timing. I was just driving home from my facial, which was amazing, by the way. My rash, like my dermatitis gets a little bit inflamed when I get micro, but it's all gonna go down, so it's fine. And I called my friend Sophie, who you guys know, and she was in Cronulla, like where we live. So she came and parked in our street. She's gonna jump in the car. Kurt is jumping in the car, and we're all gonna get burgers together. Hello! Mate, I stink <laughs> that bad. It's fine, I have dermatitis. I if, you, if you're in the front, you need to be a resident vlogger, and it's How very heavy. Oh Why is it so large? 
This is the one from Byron. I know, but like, it's you. I know. So I love the way you are holding that camera with like two hands. This is the heaviest thing. <laughs> no, okay. What are you holding with one okay. hand like this yeah, so like, you can do stuff? Yeah, Bro. If you want good quality. Hold it, hold it on the it. lens. It makes it a bit easier. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you know how many comments I've gotten saying, why aren't you guys friends anymore? I'm like, she's in another country. Also, like, you're pregnant and like and have a whole life. Guys, you also know like how difficult it is to find time between our schedules yeah. because... And and when I do see you, I don't, I like never vlog because I just want to like be around she you. She thinks I'm ugly. I'm no, I don't. Like, <laughs> so what, we're, we're matching with bad skin. This is a period pimple, everyone, in case you wanted to you know. Said I, you said my skin was good uh, except my I rash. Just joined the girl your party. skin is good without, <laughs> besides your rash. Sophie always has good skin, but randomly yours broke out in New York. It does. Why? Oh my god, yes, because I wrote to you. I was like, says help a sister out, mate. Like the humidity, mm -hmm. the pollution, it's New York. I went to grill to get a burger yesterday and I'm going again today. Is it bad that my left bicep is quivering? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye. The camera's too heavy. Yeah, I literally feel like a potato. Just not working for me today at all. I'm having a bit of a discouraged day, I suppose. And there's literally like 12 exercises that I'm allowed to do for the next two months. And even stretching, I can't do one-legged stretches and I can't spread my legs wide and... And I'm just feeling really bored and really discouraged and to be honest, feeling sorry for myself. And I feel like I'm allowed to complain because I've been so positive about this whole pregnancy. I'm just having a down day. I know it could be worse. I'm so lucky, blah, blah, blah. Don't send me a hate DM, please. I'm just being honest and I'm just having a sad, grumpy day, feeling sorry for myself. Grumpy Sezzy, and this is a version of me you don't normally see on YouTube. To be honest, I'm a pretty positive and happy person, <sighs> but it's actually the next day in the night time. Abigail's come to say hello. Hello, precious. Do you wanna go in the bath? That's gross. And I just did not have a good day today. I said this on my Instagram story, but I have taken this pregnancy in my stride. I really feel so blessed and lucky to even be pregnant. Like you guys know, I got told I could never get pregnant or it would be really hard for me to get pregnant. So yeah, I'm obviously really grateful. However, it was just one of those days where I was feeling really discouraged and just over it. It's not even the pregnancy itself. It's just my pelvis. Like I literally have around seven leg exercises I can do for the next two months. I'm over them already. I don't really have many baths because I get really bored and really hot, but I was really grumpy today in a really bad mood. And I was like, you know what? This is gonna be good for me. I've got some Epsom salts in here. I've also got some lavender in here to calm me down. This is a really big bath, you know. <sighs> <laughs> but Kurt and I went to a burping course. It was really boring. <laughs> good. It was I, good. But I'm just so, so excited about labor. Yeah, me too. I feel like I'm so confident now and I'm so excited, but I'll look back and be like, why was I so excited? But I feel like that's because I have a really good support system. Kurt, my midwife at the hospital, and my sister. Like, I feel really well educated since I was like 12. Yeah, every like, time you go to their house, all they talk about is babies. Babies and birth and <laughs> breastfeeding. Not that I feel like a pro, but I feel prepared for, you know, things that can go wrong. And yeah, everyone has also been asking if we're going to do a birth vlog. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. I want to vlog everything and not in like a cool, cinematic, beautiful YouTube way. Like I want it to be real. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I want to show, if it's really hard, I want to show you guys that it's really hard. The only hard thing is, is that we've talked to our midwives and the hospital has like strict rules. So they won't let us film 
film, the midwives, anything that they're saying. No faces. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really want to make it as raw and authentic as I can because they're the vlogs that I have loved watching. For now, I'm going to read about perineal massages. Google that one. <laughs> oh, look, the first page is about camu powder. You guys know I love camu powder. See, I was just made to be pregnant. I didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, my belly is just huge. On fire? No, just huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's enormous. She's so chill just sitting here like this. Look at her arms. Let's give a baby name clue. Okay. So the last clue is that his first and middle name was three syllables. The second clue is his first name is one syllable. Should we give away one more clue? Like yeah, how yeah, many yeah. letters are in the second name? Yes. Okay. And second name is five letters. I nearly said four. <laughs> Please give me both of you. Good luck guys. Come on Abby. Me and you can go on an adventure together. Peace out. Oh, she's back. <laughs>